And Granville County community is moving forward together tonight, just two days after a tornado destroyed their homes. The initial shock of the storm is over, and as WNCN Steve Sprache explains, they're now beginning the rebuilding process. The shock of what happened is now wearing off, and those affected by the tornado are now trying to figure out how to move on to rebuild their homes and their lives. Two days after the tornado, they are still struggling with the wind. A wind that's a reminder of how lives here were disrupted. Today is trying to box up those memories and the furniture and everything you've got left. Some of what 81-year-old Ann Barnes has left is on her front lawn. Part of a lifetime of love, joy, and raising a family. Stuff that she hopes can be preserved because much more of her life is now scattered for acres. The hardest part for her is knowing that uh, her life is, like you said, down the road, in the creek, on the other side of the airport. Next door to Ann's home is what's left of Rick McWilliams' place. Today, he stood amongst the rubble, salvaging what he could. We're trying to get the stuff out of the house that um, people with sticky fingers are going to be getting as soon as we leave. With police no longer blocking the road, and with many gawkers still driving by, you can see why Pam West is worried. Meanwhile, for Pam's next door neighbor, today is a day of reflection. Just take it one day at a time and just thank the Lord that I won't over here when it happened. Where's this all going, Chris? Like the flowers which persist in blooming despite the destruction, those who survive know their lives too will go on and flourish. Everything's not lost. Family is here. County emergency officials are still working with their state counterparts to try and figure out what kind of aid, if any, may be available. In Oxford, Steve Sprazier, WNCN News Now. Two people are